Well, good evening and welcome to Black Country Blitz. Time's just coming up for 10 to 11 here on this Thursday night. How are we doing all? Right, if you've not watched the previous couple of streams, we are now in 137 here in Euro Trucks, same as American. And uh, we've been messing about what I have today. With map mods and different plugins and different things to modify our gameplay here in Euro Trucks. Now, I've had or I've got my uh, American Truck Simulator just how I like it. I'm just trying to get the lights right, that'll do. So, we've got a little bit of light on the situation. Um, again, to the last couple of hours been swapping mods with me good buddy so i've been giving him um some tips on getting stuff and vice versa now and getting things in motion uh our brian as soon as trucker's mp uh put the self into motion and give us a uh, multiplayer and we're more going to be on doing a big convo right so without further ado let's get some jobs underway First off, let's close these windows up because they do get a little bit noisy. And we're going to pick a job. I don't know if I've picked it. I might have done. Let me try again. So let's go over the the sign. Route calculated. Let's see if I did pick the job. I think I have chosen it. All right, there's only one job to do, so we've got to check that one. All right, view current then. Resume. So that's where we am going. It is behind me. I've got to do my normal stuff because I've been in out of browsers, and for some apparent reason, in this software, the Fanatec loses its force feedback settings. I don't know how. I don't know why. See any game that does it if I go in and out of browsers. Right, I can see. I can see the truck where we're heading for. Hold on, let's get back in reverse. As he stalls a crook. Now, first off, I want to thank people who have subscribed to my channel in the last couple of days. I really appreciate it. I did thank you in the previous video, but it was near to the end. So if you ain't sat there and watched the whole two hours, you miss me thanking you. Thanks to Wombat as well. I have thanked her in the other one, but I want to make it clear. Um, really appreciate the work that you do with your map combos. Big shout out to my main Bobster, Dominic, R. Mark, Brian, uh, Mr. Stokes, um, and basically anybody else that's joined the channel. Now, as I say, they'll be frightened to come and have a, a nat up. I don't bite you. I have been fed. I do try and keep the channel as clean as possible. Sometimes we might be the odd word fly out, you know, we're many human and we're all men together. But I do try and keep the channel sort of clean. But again, nobody's perfect. Any road. Again, must know it's me straight away, straight into a set of rain. Again, probably tell you all the things that I've told you in previous streams, but these are the people that will be watching uh, that I watched none of the other streams. We've put um, as much maps on as possible with the 137 update. There's Pro turn Mods in here. Soon. There's Russian map, Mediterranean, um, Russian Extended, I think. Um, what else is that? What I know off the top of my head. Some little islands, I can't remember what they're called, but anyway, there'll be a link at the bottom of the description of this, it's probably still there. If you want to go and download them all, then all you have to do is follow exactly what Wombat Trucker has explained in his video. His links are all on there, it's pointless me duplicating uh, Wombat's links, because here we'll update the links as when the new Please software comes out. So, ahead. I don't want to mess with that guys. 
uh, way uh, and take any credit for that. I'm just like anybody else. Oh, come here. Been up the wrong road there. Tell I'm a foreigner we're in a different country. So, if you want to get anything, what you see on these screens, then that's all you have to do. Go to Wombat's latest video. It was posted yesterday. Um, and just follow everything. He actually tells you what to do or what order of stacking to do in the mods folders. And it, it really, folks, you cannot go wrong. There's only one mod out of them all, and it's Row X26. You have to buy it, yeah? It costs you 1.4 euros, if that's how you pronounce euros. Again, I'm a fan of Royce Elm. But it roughly works out to just over a pound in English money. It's nothing. So, and you get the foil a lot quicker, and I think you do get any previous updates for free. I think that's what it, what they allow. Anyway, either way, otherwise you've got to put, I think it's 2.3 version in. And I ask you, well, I think one back does say it's compatible with the combo map that he's configured. But to be on the safe side, for a quid or just over a quid, it's worth just going and getting the the 2.6, yeah? And Jim sorted them. But all the rest of the uh, mod maps in that uh, combo, I'm all free, barring that one. And before we go too far, I'll show you what you get. Uh, it's easy to show people, I think, rather than just... Um, just say oh you get all this now nah. again normal maps this is pro mods you get Ireland again not f absolutely massive but again it's Ireland it's more than we have um, you get what's this one now I can't think what this one is is the Ireland man or is the Ireland man down here but again you get the one between um, what is it I don't even know the bloody port I can't think is it uh, um i even live in england it's still called there from there to there to, to belfast yeah the island in the middle somebody will put me right i'm sure i could think of it um but there's another little island down here and all somewhere is that yeah here it is that's another one is that i've been there today oh yesterday but again is it guernsey or jersey something like that before you get to France, that's another one we don't normally get with the normal uh, mods. What we buy from SCS Software again, taking nothing from SCS Software, it's nice to have them. But of course, after so long, you're driving down the same road over and over and over and over again. When you do something like that, it's like, wow, yeah, it brings this to another level, yeah. So, again. Me personally, I will be driving down a lot of roads that I've drove down personally before because I've reset my map um, halfway through the 137 uh, beta stage. But I knew once everything come out, like Pro Mods, all the other Russian maps and um, Row Extended and stuff like that, and all the other ones that have gone into making this map as big as it is, uh, here's them little islands I was on about. Again, people know what I mean who mod, who mod or have modded this game. They know exactly where I'm coming from. Uh, for the people that don't, um, I'm, I'm I'm sorry. I call, like, say, oh, this is so-and-so part of the country because my knowledge with maps, I get stuck in this country where I live. Never mind coming over here. I know some of them say, like, certain parts. Um, I know that's like Italy, you know, Russia up here. Ukraine, I think this is Russia, the Blues, Russia. Um, I mean, I've done that on my previous stream where we did Chernobyl. I actually bought Chernobyl's garage and it's really weird when you drive all through this bit and you come out somewhere up here. I think it's about here. You come out, so it's really weird. Um, but we've got all this now to cover. And of course, as Wombat mentioned, 
they will be adding a little bit more to this as as the weeks go on again um one three seven they've been out that long for the euro truck so it's gonna you know in a couple of weeks fortnight three weeks don't forget we got this pan of, um um coronavirus on so that's probably pulling things you know on all people of okay some people are at work so my uh it might be preventing them from doing what they do might do it at home in the work i don't know but give people a chance yeah let them let them do what they've got to do uh i think it's great they do take the time out um again scs i'm always going to update their own software but for these to say well you know what as soon as they've updated it we'll go back to making their maps um playable with the dlcs that we uh, we buy from scs software so you know just keep an eye on this i'm only following what wombat puts out um when it comes to putting these in order i find it difficult sometimes sitting going back and forth well, at least you've got an idea now of what it sort of looks like, yeah? And we've got a bit of a bit of rain while we've been chatting in there. But we've got now more places to travel to. There'll be parts of this while I ace in for a bit. So I have a had this before uh, on a lower version you know um, probably over a year ago now somewhere around that since I last had um, pro mods and all the other maps on my Euro trucks so it is nice to get them back on well, let's get rid of that top bar Now what I intend doing in a minute, I should have done it, because I've got to try it. I've got the new version of Truck here. Again, it is. Please use the left lane. A, a tool may sit there for when we do play on Truckers MP. But it's had an update and I need to go and check a few things. So once we've delivered this um, trailer, I will actually stop the game. I ain't going to stop the stream. But I'm going to start up um, the likes of Trucky, Trucky app and my truck book so I can actually get my jobs logged on what I'm doing on my truck book uh, page. Again, please use the left lane. Oi, oi, we've got an accident. So is this an accident where it's closed all the road off or it's just a little bit? It might mean that the road for me ahead is completely closed. Where is he going? Right, it's a detail for me by the looks of it. Yeah, it's a complete shutdown of the motorway. And I could cheat and go down there, but I'll put the map on to do the Turn diversions. Right so that's what we'll do. We'll follow the diversion. I've got to make sure that they'll bring me back on myself. Please turn right. Because sometimes it does do that. It's totally take me in a totally different direction. <clears throat> Turn right soon. I hope it's going to take me straight out of where we am. Please Again, I'd say right. we could get out further. The road's closed off. So, you got to put your trust in the sat nav. <clears throat> I 
it looks like it's causing one or two problems all over. As long as this they'll try and bring me back on that other side of the motorway I've got to totally get out of the area and bypass that totally. I don't want it like, just making me turn around, so I'm gonna have a look at my map. Please use the left lane. Yeah, we are doing none of that yet, love. Now it's our jobs I want, it's the map I need. I've got to make sure that our map, I making me turn uh, just round to go back on myself, and it looks like that's the case. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's making me go round to come back round and actually follow exactly the same route that's closed. So we need now to go add a new point and I need to come on rows like this, which I gave me the option to do. So uh, can I reroute myself? I cannot. I want me driving up here. How do I get onto this road? And it ain't let me zoom in anymore. So that's no good to me. Boy, it has now, so I'll reset that. Come on, we need to get here via this. Yep, so now that's totally rerouted me. It's made the stream longer, it was only three hours, now it's four hours, but at least we might have that. Um, Calculated. Place. Flipping as well. Right Waiting to go and fill up a right. diesel <laughs> along the way. Please turn right. Please use the right lane. Recalculate route. Now we've been speaking about VO. Now Mark's been filling me in on what I'm missing in the VR experience. <laughs> so please use the right lane. Ooh, so daisy. Drive straight ahead. Please turn right. Now, before I go anywhere, I'm going to do a bit of software. I want to demonstrate this to show, well, basically anybody that's watching. But one would be my good friend Mark, uh, and what it is. Um, I don't think I showed it to anybody yesterday or the day before. Right, what's this? Member account settings on this device. What device? Uh, Skype. I thought something was running. Quit Skype. Yep. It's playing up the old uh, system tray. It's running on a don't need. Basically, what the program is, is a program called Voice Attack. Yep. And I can give commands, and it will pick up commands in my voice, yeah? So, we've got one for track IR. So, I don't want to say too loud. Uh, hold on. So, let's have a look what we've got. Um, right. So I need to say, I'm in the truck now. Now, I've just, again, I'm having one or two issues with this tonight for some reason. It just will not open up the screen and stay there. Right, 
The more track I ought is way off now. If I say middle, middle, it's just gone. Now normally I would have to press F12. So if I just do my normal and go middle, middle, it centers. So here I am turning now. If I say middle, middle. Again, it ain't the middle because I ain't looking at it, bro. But if I look directly at my centre of my screen and say middle, it will send more track I or now. If anybody's got a VR headset and has got you, you know, where they don't want to set, keep taking off the headset to see what them doing. Please drive straight ahead. This software comes with ten commands or ten. You can control 10 functions yeah but if you pay eight pound you can have the full software again you can do so much with it so for me uh, you know when you're driving you don't want to keep taking your hands off things you just want to drive but sometimes the tracking because a little eye one center as you can see now, I ain't had to do nothing, okay, you might hear me keep saying the word centre. Try the word middle. Middle. Again, I've asked it to say either middle or centre. So if I say centre, again it's got to pick it Please up. Drive straight ahead. Centre. And you'll see, because I like to have the wheel, there's like a 45 degree angle. One, I can see up my whole wheel, my dashboard, but sometimes the tracking will slightly go off, yeah? So without me having to take my hands off, and I wish I could do other buttons, which I can, uh, I can program it to do stuff in the game. Now, if we have lights, so I could say, if I put my lights on, a certain button, I could ask it to do that, yeah? But I've got to work out how to get it to done, which I ain't sort of done yet, but when I do, half the commands will be like, turn the lights on, and it hopefully it'll turn the lights on in the game, yeah? Especially as well, some of the racing games, there's that much to bring up and that much to change. Please if I drive, could say the commands, ahead. now, a, a game which I love for voice control, is F1, yeah? I always keep looking for the camera, the camera's up here. F1, once I learned how to get the mic working, you can have a full conversation with your, you know, Jeff, who's like the spotter, and click through and stuff like that, yeah? Without actually taking your hands off your wheel. Um, so with this voice attack, you can do once you've programmed it and set it up to how you want, you can do so much with it. I found it, you know, I've actually bought it for Armour 3. Uh, that's Please how I got to uh, hear about it. But when I went into more depth with the software, that's when I found out it more and it's just for like that. You can ask it to open up applications. I mean, I've got, if I hadn't started them already, I've got one to load up the track, track I are itself. I better not say, because it figured up, because that's one of the command words I asked it to do. Again, the centre. Centre. See? A couple of seconds. It's like me pressing F12, which is the command key for track I are. Again, I don't want it to try and open another... Please drive straight ahead. Version of the software because it might do. Centre. Again, got my wheel exactly where I needed. So, if anybody wants anything like a voice command software, then voice attack. Please drive straight ahead. Here's a good piece of software. It's available on Steam, or you can go directly to the manufacturers or the people that develop the app. Again, they do tell you to get it off Steam because 
when they bring an update out it automatically updates your copy via steam otherwise i've got to go to their website and just update it which is you know nothing too much i'm still looking for chat overlays though i really wish like the trucky app and a couple of other apps that sit over the top of the game i wish i could find one that would do voice chat and i can't take the first exit of the roundabout anyway that rain's gone thank god please take the exit I'm trying to turn my, light, my indicators off and make all the lights. Tell me my lights on if I don't need them on. Right, that's one. I leave the one set on. Now I see the uh, Sunflowers, I've right, seen them for a little bit in the uh, fields. It's one of the first things I've ever seen when I uh, brought this game. Oh, my the God. Exit how, many sun, how many sunflowers in the, the uh, fields? For again, people that modify the maps, they can only use what materials are available. And of course, it's what's already in other DLCs which they use. I know it's now it's like raining. But I do like uh, it's a bit of time before the water does eventually all come off the window screens. I think it's fantastic how it just stays there and the next minute you look and it's all gone. Like it's all like evaporated and dried up. Now tonight I've been trying to get the EAA map, of course it's Brazil and stuff like that, but for love no money you cannot get it to work with the modding order at the moment, so whether it's I put it in the right stacking order, um, I cannot get it to work, so I'm going to leave it the time being, and I'm sure if it's something that needs another connection to get you from I think it's Calais over to the AA map which we have with previous versions I'm sure one battle sorted out bless him anyway I'm driving on uneven roads at the moment it's making me bounce again I by complaining I enjoy it because it makes me vibrate <laughs> sounds sounds Funny that. Hi, Connor. You all right? Please drive straight Welcome ahead. back. Back for a, another journey in the old Euro. Revealing all new roads again. Ones I ain't seen before. 
Oh god, that's a funny police car. It's more like a jeep. We've just had to do a diversion as all the motorway was closed off. But I've got a, a different mod that causes these diversions a little bit different from box standard game. So we're actually driving down road which I hadn't planned to drive down in the beginning. Please drive straight ahead. It's another place discovered. I'm probably going to see a lot of that though, discovering all these new cities and towns. Now I did say when I come back with clearing all the maps that I would start just in England, but of course now with putting pro mods on and England being extended, or a few of the um, Towns Please use the right lane. I've been added. London's got bigger. I think I need to go back and just do jobs in England and get that map sorted, get all the companies, get all the garages bought. Please take the right Stick out exit. my drivers so I can start earning money from the other drivers. As some of you might know, some of you might not. It ain't just about driving in this game, you're actually running your own haulage company. So of course you can employ other drivers, but you have to have trucks for them, uh, trailers, all sorts like that. You're actually running a business, yeah? I mean, you could just buy all the garages. It's a lot easier now. Uh, before you Please used to have to drive left. to garages, nowadays you can just... After a certain time, you can just buy garages without actually driving to the cities. Again, it is a bit easier, and it's but I do try. And, if I go to a town now, say I'll go to this one, find if it's got a garage in the city or town, whatever you want to call it, and that's when I try and purchase it. And while I'm there, kit it out with drivers, kit it out with trucks, trailers, and then when I get to the next destination. Do the same again and again and again. And slowly you start building your money up. Um, and then you become very rich. <laughs> oh God, could do with a drop of water in that river. Anyway, we ain't too far away from dropping this first rail off. I am going to restart. So I will be back. Due to the fact I want to change a few things. Um, in the game I should have done them before I come on but I've got to restart everything to get Trucky up and all that kind of working so please turn right but it is nice to see the traffic a bit more I was a bit worried that this traffic mod wouldn't keep up with the traffic flow but it uh, seems to be handling it pretty well there is patches where it goes quiet. Here's the part where I asked it to detour and go this way where I put my marker. I put that number number one marker. It's a bit of a windy bendy road now. And take me time through here. No heroics. No damage in the trailer. Or in my case, it's a tanker. I think I'm uh, hauling. I love the sound of them brakes now. Whether them authentic for a scanner, I wouldn't know. But they do sound better than they did before. So whatever's done or whatever's done it, I've done a good job. Again, I might have people who are real lorry driving say that's crap or that's rubbish. Well, sorry guys, but I hear a lorry driver so I wouldn't know any different, yeah? 
Some detail gone into that water, that's for sure. Turn right soon. Oh, I don't like that. A bag of rubbish can tip a truck. Please turn right. That ain't authentic. <laughs> a black bin line that could crash here. How many? How much ton of a truck is it? I need to change that. I like a drive around in circles to get where Please we are now. Drive straight ahead. Take the second exit at the roundabout. Please take the exit. Please drive straight ahead. The detail gone in these little houses is fantastic. Okay, trains. Train somewhere. Take the first exit to the roundabout. Please take the exit. Turn left soon. Please turn left. That's a petrol station. Destination reached. Navigation finished. Ah, I can see where I've got to put the trailer. I'm, a, I'm actually here delivering to a petrol station. Um, I wonder where I was delivering to then. I thought, okay. And rely on me so they can fill up their pumps by the sounds of it. <laughs> and in game, look, you know. That's if I could see where I'm going. I go home. Seems like I'm miles away. Not too far, but a little bit out. I was on the money then. I just straighten the truck up. There we go. And jobs are good. Right, I'll be back, folks. <laughs>